Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to cover normal ortho number 10. And let's start off by asking ourselves our three questions of how would we describe this shape uh, slash how many chunks could we tear it into? Um, really, it's nothing more than three rectangles. Um, and which view best shows the shape? This is another one where I would say all three. Uh, top view, you'll see the hole there. So that might be a little bit of a indication. Um, does this part have symmetry? This part does not have symmetry. Um, and one of the things that I am going to be looking for is to make sure that this is a whole feature, not a circular extruded cut. So I'll cover that when we get more into the demo. Um, where are we going to start on this thing? I would say it's probably be best to start with uh, this rectangle here. Now this is one of those that it is missing a dimension. This dimension here should be an inch and a quarter. And that's going to come, this back face here basically comes flush with this face here. So inch and a quarter by one and three quarter inch rectangle. So we'll sketch on top. And since we don't have symmetry, but it's just as easy, we'll go ahead and throw a center point rectangle of one point, what do we say? Uh, 1.75 by 1.25 and we'll go ahead and extrude that to a thickness of 0.5. Now the rest of it's just going to be sketching on the geometry. So looking at this, this rectangle sits on top of this rectangle. It's an inch and a quarter by a half an inch. Um, that's an assumed dimension. So we probably could have added that for clarity, but this line here is a half an inch and it goes all the way to the back. So where's the best place to sketch this rectangle? You could either sketch it on the bottom of this solid or you could sketch it on this face right here, which is what we're going to do. So we need one and three quarters by an inch and a quarter. So we're going to sketch this rectangle and that's going to come from here, 1.25 by 1.75, and this distance here is 0.5. And that's going to shift that over. So now when we extrude our sketch, we can flip this. Now, this is interesting, so pay attention. It left this as a cut. And if you're in a hurry and you hit OK and you think, oh, no, what did I just do? Not a big deal. Edit your extrusion change it to a join and hit OK and you're good to go. Our last rectangle is going to be this one here that comes from the bottom left hand corner this intersection down here uh, inch and a quarter by a half an inch so we're going to sketch on this face half an inch by an inch and a quarter and that length of that is 1.5 we see that here so we're going to extrude that 1.5 and there is our base solid. Now the last thing we have to do is we need to put this hole in here. And if you watch the whole tutorial video, there's two ways that we can do that. We can either sketch a point, dimension that point and then make a hole, or we can just click hole and then place it on here. So I'm going to go over both methods. However you do it doesn't matter to me. Um, so we're going to put a point here. And these two dimensions are 0.5 and 0.5. And now this is where you do not draw a circle. Okay, all we need is that point. So we're going to hit hole. We're going to do a half inch diameter hole, which is what was left over from the last time I did a hole feature. So we're going to hit OK and then we're done with this part. Now the alternative to doing it with a sketched point is to click hole and now it wants to know a position. So I always think of this as what if I had a drill what would I be drilling into and that's going to be this top face. And now I pick a reference 0.5, pick a reference 0.5 and hit OK. So it gives you the same result. You do have a sketch in here with a point. So it's just a matter of do you do it one way or the other. Um, and it doesn't matter to me. 
So that's going to conclude our series on the normals 1 through 10. And the next series, we're going to start with the incline orthos, which will deal with angled faces and making work plans. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.